my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. How do you stop running out of ideas when you solo? How do you stop running out of licks? I solved this problem for myself, but I didn't know that that was what I was doing. I thought that I was working on something else, and suddenly I realized that I stopped running out of licks. <laughs> I stopped running out of ideas. It was like every time this, this, I was supposed to play a solo, I started out and it was really cool, and then suddenly, uh, you know, what, what to play next? And I was actually playing stuff while I was worried about what to play when I ran out of the thing I was playing at the moment, right? And playing runs just out of like easily was just a, a no-go. I couldn't do that. I would start the run and I didn't know how to end it. Didn't know, you know, to find the right note to end it on. It was just a mess, basically. But the whole challenge of that has nothing to do with licks. I promise you, and this sounds like a no class, you know, but because if, if I had 200 licks, but yeah, try to remember 200 licks, right? You can't remember 200 licks, so you can learn all the licks in the world and you'll still run out of licks because, uh, you know, the smoke gets in your eyes and people are cheering and you're, uh, and you're trying to remember, oh, what can I play next, right? It has to be an intuitive process. What, did that, what does that mean, an intuitive process? Well, an intu intuition, basically. It's not a matter of, of magically feeling something and then going with your heart or whatever, you know. It, we say that because we don't know what intuition is. But intuition is basically, just imagine you have so much experience that it's, and you know, you got memories and you got experience, you tried something that all, you're trying to make a decision, right, about what to do. Should I do this or should I do that? And you're in doubt. But your intuition tells you to do that. What does that mean? It means that there are too many points of data, right? There's too much data in your data bank, in your database, for you to really compare it all and make a decision. But your brain has a different level that can take too much data for your conscious mind to focus on. And then what comes up is an emotion, right? It's like, it's like you, you have like a thousand small pieces of data that you could all look into, you know, methodically and intelligently and look at them and say, okay, this is the right decision, but this is just too much to, so your brain just gets, you, you just get a color or an emotion and saying, I'm, I'm over here because all the, and the plus and minus of all the information you have in your brain just tells me to go in this direction. And so you can't really explain why you want to go there because it's unconscious largely, okay? So that's the exact same thing when you're improvising or playing solos, that it has to be intuitive. You can put 200 licks in there, but you won't be able to consciously remember them. They have to flow. Like when you speak, when I'm speaking now, right? I'm not deciding what to say. I'm just saying it, right? There's no pre-anything. There's no practicing. It just comes out, <laughs> right? And that's where you want to go to. So you can you know, learn a lot of licks, learn a lot of sequences. By all means, do that. But how are you going to get all that to come out? Well, by really staying with the music and being in the music. And that's a totally different discipline than learning the licks. It's all about rhythm and solo strumming, which is our new program here that you can go check out uh, by clicking the link just below this video. Um, so what you need to do to convert all those licks into solos is that you need to stay in close contact with the music. Like we did in the previous video, if you didn't, if you didn't watch that, please go back and do so. So what we're really going to do here is we're going to investigate in this video what we can do with our licks. And I'm just gonna give you an example here. Let's say we're playing like, a, like we did in the beginning there. Like a kind of a blues rock thing, right? And we wanna, we have a, we have a simple lick like this. See, I'm strumming now. And because I'm strumming, I can do a drum solo using just two things. <laughs> the two notes and the 12th fret on the B and E string. 
right? And then I can do the 14th fret, blues, E blue scale, um, on the G string, and I can bend the, bend that up. See, this is strumming, right? And that is rhythm. And if I can use my strumming capabilities that I have already from my rhythm guitar playing, and I can start... that th th this last part here was really complex right but when I'm playing that what my body does is go bad did didn't the bird bad didn't do it you hope I didn't right it's rhythm it's every and the notes is secondary and that's the whole point here that's the whole secret to turning licks into solos is to suddenly from you know you've been playing licks and you've been practicing all of this and it doesn't freaking work right so what you do is you turn the whole thing around and you start focusing on the rhythm instead once you have that under control you can start a applying the notes afterwards. You're pretty good at that already. You practice some licks, right? And so instead of, instead of, you know, you've been playing that. That's the first lick I learned. Uh, it's just basically the blue scale, E blue scale here. I just play the first position from the top note. Once I hit the 12th fret on the G string, just do a vibrato and end on the root note on the D string in the 14th fret. Right? How do you make a solo out of that? That's nothing, right? <laughs> That's impossible. But if you use this concept, right, then it's pretty easy. Right, I can play that one time. I can maybe repeat it without boring people too much. I, suddenly, once I start using um, solo strumming, you could call it, once I start using that, I can shuffle the notes around and I can use rhythm. And here, I didn't even use any anything fa fancy or special. I was basically using them. I was just stopping and shuffling this. Because I'm using my freaking strumming abilities that I have already. I'm just applying notes to them. In the new program we have out, we have licks that has, you know, it's just one bar, but it, then it's loopable. So when you play it, you can... And it's all strumming based. So you get to learn lick after lick after lick that you can shuffle around and do this with. It's the most amazing thing once you start practicing it. It will really give you the ability to turn licks into solos intuitively. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.